Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to test an HP 15. Uh, it's not the best laptop ever, you know, it's uh, quite opposite because uh, the performance from this laptop will make you appreciate your computer slash laptop, whatever you have. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a great opportunity for you. So make sure you smash that like button for your computer and your laptop, you know, because this one does, <laughs> you know, no, <laughs> one time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Today, this uh, mainboard HP laptop is uh, running with the Intel Pentium N3540. Uh, this one has socket 1170 BGA slam on the mainboard. You know, you cannot take it out like traditional. Nevertheless, uh, this one is with four core and four threads. But it's got 2600 megahertz, so yeah, it's got uh, 8 gig of uh, DDR3 in dual channel and good luck, Mr. Laptop, you know. Let's start with Las Vegas because we need to look at uh, some games that are actually playable. They, they how should I say, it, there is a small chance to actually start the game and reaching 20 FPS or even passing 20 FPS and oh my God, 24, 30 FPS would be ideal, you know? So I think this is one of those games that can actually start because this CPU has an uh, 2014, this is 2014 CPU and it's got an Intel Atom graphics. It doesn't have like an Intel HD 4000 series or only on desktops, I think. But regardless of that, uh, I managed to crop the output because um, when I'm using a HDMI capture card, it makes it super smooth. This is how it looks on my monitor. Let's uh, take a look at the game and see how it's performing because, uh, yeah, not very adequate. Wait, wait, the game is set up on 720p. One. It can actually go lower on the resolution, but it will be ideal with the original screen because this allows you to stretch it over the screen. You understand? So it, it works really nice with uh, the original one. Yeah. But uh, in uh, in the game here uh, with HDMI, it's just uh, quite horrible. Now, the fact that I managed to show you the core on both uh, 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 all of them are fully loaded, you know, even though there's no point of, I don't even know why I put it in there, but I just wanted to show you what it means to have four cores with this Pentium, you know, all maxed out and uh, yeah, 70 degrees. Now there's a catch with the CPU because um, uh, there is a catch with the CPU because uh, this, this one has no fan. It, I'm not joking, it's a big metal plate there that sits on top of it without any fan. When I open it, I thought, I went to the seller, did you open the laptop and you took the fan out? He said, no, no, this is how it is. Then I googled and I see a lot of pe pictures and this is it. <laughs> it's got 70 degrees and uh, yeah, no fan on it. I, I'm not, look, look if quiet. No fan, no, no fan. So if you want movies or uh, documents, this is, this is this is fantastic. Seriously, this is fantastic. Wild dog. Okay, let's see. Can you wild? Can you make him a doggy? I want a hot dog. Seriously. Got him. Nice. I wish I can say it was working, but I don't know if it's working. I don't think it's working, so... Equip all. Oh, wait, 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 give me a second. I want to see if I can... 800 by 600 and render scale. I think we put it to 50 or something. Something like this. And I can put something like an, a, a, a small overlay like this and we're golden. But my one is kind of horrible. All right, play. Oh my God, it's so laggy. Yo, six FPS. Oh 
Yep. The lag is real, boy. Oh, this is so easy. It's impossible to actually play the game. Medic my ass. Look at that. Over FPS. Nice. Let's see what can 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 we do a push? I shouldn't put the burst because it's kind of horrible to see. The grenade launchers and rocket launchers, those are the best. Uh, uh, well, let's uh, let's uh, let's move just a little forward with uh, gaming uh, on this HP 15, and now we're gonna continue with Euro Truck Simulator One. You know, not two, one. <laughs> because I don't know why, I think there is a chance on actually playing the game, you know? So let's see if we have a chance. Okay, so, so this is, what is 720p? All right, apply the settings, yeah? It's on low details. Got 36 FPS, yeah? If I remember correctly. Okay, put one, two, three. All right. Okay, we can actually do. We can repair. We can take jobs. Nice. We can do drifts. Twenty FPS. Let's see. Look how small it is. This is how it's my on my computer too. Right, I made the full screen. <laughs> oh, green, green, green. It was yellow. The cabin is lagging. Outside is much better. On top of it is even better. So I'll keep it here then. Apparently, if I put it on, if I put the view in the cabin, it it will be kind of horrible. Let's even signal. See, I'm a good boy. I know how to drive here. Okay, I'll close it. I know I can go there. Deposit. I go to the deposit and take some stuff. All right. Don't honk me. Enter to view the jobs. It's doable. The original screen. I think you can find some old, nice retro games. Yeah, for this uh, computer. If if you're pushing for new games, I think it's it's impossible. So, Euro Truck Simulator. I give it a go. This is one. I'm actually disappointed in Paladins. Maybe without DirectX 11. Uh, in the near future, I will, I will try it one more time. Let me explain to you something. The hardware, the components, the laptops, the graphics card, the CPUs, it doesn't matter. Anything that is hardware, I evaluate them based on how World of Tanks works on them. You understand? If it's uh, running above medium and it's uh, 60 FPS about medium or maximum details above, of over 60 FPS, they are top-notch hardware. You understand? If it's reaching medium details and it's got decent FPS, that's a proper hardware. You understand? But today, we're going to challenge that. You understand? <laughs> this is 800 by 600 or some crappy resolution with uh, with 3d render scale down I'm gonna lie it's actually much better to to play on the software where i'm recording 20 fps wow when i get 25 fps i'm saying yes <laughs> but wait can't wait to snipe i'll get like a couple of fps only imagine Having this type of problem in your life, yeah? Because just because you think that your problems are more bigger. Imagine somebody had to play World of Tanks like this. Oh, shoot the f <laughs> Can't see nothing. Can't feel nothing. I want the internet game. Ah, oh, look at this. I made the damage without... Oh! 
1000 damage with <laughs> with potato computer. Oh, I have to move the mouse really slow. People don't like this video card. Yeah, this is a GeForce. Yeah, uh, GeForce 210. Yeah. I wish I had this in the computer, you understand? It will be much better, you understand? Look at this, this is 710. I'll take this 610, it's, it's, it's 610, see? 610. All right, let's continue the story with this uh, computer because uh, apparently you have to go a little older in the gaming library in order to find something that is working. So, first game that runs with 60 FPS. <laughs> Actually, let me... Uh, Let's retry this because I wanted to change uh, uh, the FPS monitor because it's too big there. You can see the road. I think I'm able to increase the resolution and some details. There is a possibility to actually find retro games for this laptop, you know? So if this one is doing the job, then I'm 100% sure that um, older games, it's ideal for this one. I want to see my, my, myself in the first position and that's it. I can die happy that I managed to find a game. <laughs> oh, Don't be mean with this, seriously, because having a game that runs with 60 FPS on this computer, this it's, uh, it's outrageous to not find something that is not playable on this laptop, seriously. Tum 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 <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, I think this game is going to run on this. Custom details, maximum settings, particle aside from motion blur, because with uh, motion blur, motion blur. So if we're talking about, um, how shall I say, if we're talking about uh, retro gaming, this is the only way you can achieve some uh, high FPS with uh, this laptop, yes? It can be much better than this. <laughs> oh, Peugeot 208, let's have some fun. Oh, nostalgia triggered. Oh, 30 FPS. Look at the cores. For the first time I'm seeing them, 20%. Doesn't even have any problems with this game. Oh yeah, 100% sure I will I will put the old games on this computer. I will even find a controller for it, seriously. Ooh. 3.5 gig of system RAM used for this uh, for this combination. But my god, with 80 degrees, I think I, this laptop can heat up the room. 80 degrees. Are you okay, fam? Oh, the grip. I actually forgot how the game is. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love with this type of performance, you know? So, regardless of it, if it's older... Uh, if it's an older hardware or an older game, doesn't matter. The problem with this laptop is that people will not really appreciate it, throwing it back in time, you know, but that's the time it needs to be because this Pentium, it's equivalent with a high-end older computer, you know, so it needs to play specifically for that age, you know. Um, if you don't want to use it for gaming, then you have no chance, you know, if you don't go back in time. <laughs> If you don't want to go back in time, then office computer, it's it's an office computer and that's it. I tried to play some new games, some online games, it barely runs the game, you know, but if the moment I throw like a Flat Out or a Need for Speed Underground, I throw some game, older games that were, yeah, back in the days, this one actually does the job, you know, but that's it. Retro gaming. It's a very good idea if you want to use a laptop that is not designed for that, you know. But I do want to know your opinion. If I hand it over this laptop to you, what do you do? Use it for office or do you want it to use it for some retro gaming? Leave a comment and I will see you very soon.